Body mass index, or BMI, is one of the most commonly used measurements to determine if you're obese. But the newest research says that BMI may not be reliable. Dr. Holly Phillips is with us now. Holly, good morning. And huh? Good. All we've ever heard is BMI, BMI. <laughs> very much so. Well, look, okay, Alan Anthony, you know, BMI is a very simple calculation. You mm -hmm. just plug your height and weight into a chart, right. and out comes a number, and it puts you in one of four categories. You're either underweight, normal weight, overweight, or obese. Now, on a population basis, when you look at millions and millions of BMI numbers, it's a useful measurement. It actually is correlated with health risks related to uh, being overweight or obese. But on an individual level, that's where the number breaks down. It's just not accurate. Is there a better way to calculate obesity then? Well, you know, one of the things that the BMI doesn't look at is is the big picture of, of what affects our weight. For instance, it doesn't look at your age, it doesn't look at whether or not you're male or female, and it doesn't look at your muscle mass. So that really makes it inaccurate. I'll give you an example. Michael Jordan, mm -hmm. at the height of his career, had a BMI of around 28. Now that's well into the overweight category, actually even approaching obese. Now you don't have to be a doctor to look at Michael Jordan on you know, the Chicago Bulls court and right. say, he's not obese. Mm -hmm. um, but that's an example where he has a lot of muscle mass for his height and therefore his BMI isn't accurate. Yeah, you know I, what think I think I'm in the same category there. Well, I always yeah. think you want to know if you're getting fatter, put on your clothes if they're tighter, you're getting fatter. You need to do something about it. So <laughs> is the there a King Index. Yeah, that's the Gail King Index. So is there a better way to calculate? What should we do? Sure. Well, you know what? There's been a lot of talk about using waist circumference instead, yes. in particular because abdominal fat is more dangerous than mm -hmm. fat in other parts of your body. Mm -hmm. uh, it's more linked with health risks. Also, MRIs and CAT scans can look for visceral fat. That's dangerous fat around our organs. But, you know, frankly, CAT scans expose you to radiation, MRIs are both, they're both very expensive. Those aren't going to be the tests of the future. I think we are still going to use body mass index, but it's really important to put it in context, to look at the overall person. What is their muscle mass? How do they eat? Are they healthy? Are they exercising? Mm -hmm. And then draw your conclusions from there. The numbers don't tell the whole story. Yeah, yeah. but there's a number for men and a number for women around your that, waist. That's that right. Know. You yeah. know, for men, your waist should not be bigger than 40 inches. For women, not bigger than 35. That's okay. really where we start to see those health My effects. obesity index is the mirror. There you go. <laughs> I think for most I, of us. I'm with you, Anthony. Thank you, Dr. Holly. Of course.